Yes, Colton, good morning. And of course, this ballot measure is on a lot of people's minds after Phoenix police officer Zane Coolidge was shot and killed last week. The, the community has since raised money with the uh, car washes and barbecues that we've been telling you about. Prop 311 would establish a $20 fee for every criminal conviction, which would then go toward a state death pe uh, benefit of $250,000 for a spouse or children of a first responder who is killed in the line of duty. That's on top of the benefits they already receive. South DeCicio with Back the Blue lobbied for this measure to be on the ballot, while opponents of this, when this was read last year, took issue with the source of funding. And the idea was to send a message to the police department and from the public saying, hey, we support you, we love what you're doing, and also send a message to the families to say if anything happens to the police officer on duty through a death, then you're going to be taken care of. Uh, I'm all for this. I think this is a great idea. I just think that we need to uh, address where the funding is going to come from. I think that we have money in the general fund. I think it would be a much better way of funding this uh, in the long term. Past, this would cover all first responders killed on duty, not just police officers. If the money exceeds $2 million, the legislature would then be allowed to appropriate those funds for public safety resources. The prop also calls for harsher penalties for anyone convicted of assaulting a first responder as well. Again, you'll get to decide on Prop 311 this November. Colton, Tess, we'll send it back to you. Thank you for explaining that, Colton. Good information. Thank you. Thanks.